Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Lock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICIC Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 6 Ratio and Proportion Exercise 6B Question Number 1. This one is check whether the following numbers are in proportion or not. What is this thing? Proportion. Proportion is an equation which states that two ratios are equal. Now, how can we justify this? How can I tell this to you that these two ratios are equal? Suppose I take two ratios here. Right, I take A is to B and I take uh, I take C is to D. Right, so you see here, if I have to tell you that are these in proportion or not, first of all, write them in a proportion statement. What we do is A is to B, and for the proportion sign, we draw four dots. Right, we make four dots like this. Uh, this indicates that the ratios are in proportion. And then the second ratio C is to D. Now, how can I tell you, how can we justify that this thing is in proportion? That is by checking the product of extremes and the product of means. What are they? See, this here A and this D. The first term and the fourth term of a proportion are known as extremes. These are known as extremes, right? And second term, this is B, and the third term, that is C. These are known as means, right? These B and C are means of our proportion, whereas A and D are extremes of our proportion. Now, these two play a very important role in studying proportion. Basically, we can tell if the ratios are in a proportion or not by finding the product of their word extremes and means product means multiply them so you see here a and d will multiply right ad and here will multiply b and c bc so you see if the product of ad and the product of b and c is the same if it is the same then our numbers then our ratios are equal and if it is not the same uh, sorry, our ratios are in proportion and if it is not the same then they are not in proportion. So basically we follow a verb, we, we follow a rule that is product of extremes right is equal to product of means right. So you see that when we multiply the extremes and when we multiply the means the product should be equal if our ratios have to be in proportion right let's move on to solving the questions all right the first part of this is 14 8 42 and 24 what we will do is write it in a proportional form that is the first two terms will form our first ratio the first two numbers will form the first ratio the second two number will form the second ratio and then we will write them in proportion so basically 14 is to 8 right this is one ratio formed second ratio will be 42 is to 24 but before that what we will do is put the proportion sign then write 42 is to 24 right so we've got two ratios and this sign is indicating they are in proportion but we have to check if they are or not we cannot say for now that they are in proportion this is just to dis, uh, dis, basically tell them right so now we again follow the same rule that is product of extremes is equal to product of means right so product of extremes what are the extremes the first and the fourth now terms in our proportion are the extremes which are they here this is 14 this is 24 these two are extremes what are means means are the second and the third term this and this 8 and 42 they are means so uh, same thing we'll multiply it 14 uh, 14 into 24 is equal to 8 into 42 this should be equal let's check um, first of all 14 into 24 uh, will be how much see 16 and 1 carried over right so 4 for 2 is 8 for 96 and 4 and 2 again 6 9 for 13 and 1 
three three thirty six here rise uh, right is equal and then with this one also let's do 42 and 8 8 to the 16 and 1 8 4 the 32 and 1 33 right so 336 here as well you can see on both the sides we are getting 336 this means that our numbers are in proportion so we'll write the answer as that yes the numbers are in proportion right the numbers are in proportion now let's move on to the next part now let's move on to the next part we've got here what do we have 1 upon 3 uh, 11 upon 1 right so i'll just write it here 1 upon 3 is to 1 upon 11 and proportion uh proportion sign then 1 upon 6 is to 1 upon 22 again multiply the products and extremes i won't write it every time since it takes up space right so i'll just make these arrows you can see we'll multiply 1 by 3 by 1 by 22 and 1 by 11 by 1 by 6 so we'll have 1 by 3 into 1 by 22 right is equal to 1 by 11 into 1 by 6 so we'll get here how much 3 into 22 will be 6 6 upon 1 so 1 upon 66 is equal to 1 upon 11 into 6 again 66 you see that both of them are equal you simply write your answer as yes right so answer becomes yes our numbers are in proportion let's move on to the next part so now let's move on the next one is 2 right 2 and then we have a mixed fraction so convert this into an improper one right um, so 2 is 2 I'll replace it with this 3 to 1 7 upon 2 uh, proportional sign and then 3 is to 4 uh, sorry this will be 4 to the 8 and 1 9 so 9 upon 2 right um, so now we will uh, uh, see this can be written as 1 as well and this also can be written as 1 upon 1 basically now you see extremes are these these are our means so multiply them 2 upon 1 into 9 upon 2 cut this one cut this one one um, so and here we have 7 upon 2 into 3 upon 1 can we cut this no so we'll have here 9 is equal to 7 3 21 upon 2 all right so you can clearly see that what that our answer is coming different okay even if you try to convert this into a mixed fraction it will still not be the same so you can see that our numbers are not in the proportional so you write here in the answer that no our numbers are not in a proportion let's move on to the next part now let's move on to the next part this is the fourth part and we've got decimals this time again same thing we will convert them into a proportion sign with their ratios and multiply the products of the extreme and means so 1.2 is to first and we have 1.6 and proportion sign then we have 0 0.9 and then we have 1.2 so is to 1.2 now you can see the extremes and means will be multiplied this will be multiplied and this will be multiplied right now we'll get here 1.2 into 1.2 is equal to 1.6 into 0 0.9 so 1.2 into 1.2 will be <coughs> let's see uh, so two decimal places and 12 12 to the 4 and 2 carried over right so 12 and 14 144 and two decimal places right so 1.44 here and here this side what will we get uh, so two decimal places again and let's think of it without the decimal point all right so 16 nine is going to be how much uh, 144 right so 144 and 14 over there so 144 here as well and again two decimal places one here one here so a decimal point are before one right so you can see we get 1.44 here and 1.44 here so you can write the answer as that yes our numbers are in proportion and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video leave a like on this one till then Take good care of yourself and bye-bye.